Right, so here is the crazy S67 that I've been battling with for months since when July. Yeah, this is July. I've been battling with this. The owner has sent it since February. So what happened was that this person took it, he took it away, bought it from, and those people gave it to someone else to work on it. But the person couldn't. All right, so this person um so my youtube channel then spoke with me i told him to send it down and he did and on receiving it you know i noticed here yeah, a dent here on the speaker i told the person that uh, this is what i discovered on the speaker but this one should stop it from working anyway but just for him to know what i discovered all right so moving forward now checking I discovered this as problem. This is five volt regulator. Okay, I fixed that. And aside from that, this part also got burnt. I told the person actually that these are the things I discovered on this board. This shouldn't have got damage. It shouldn't have. It should have. So it got burnt seriously. That I couldn't recognize it. I had to use another motherboard of the same type to know. This, but later this that this and this that the same. All right, so same chip here, and this supply both to the speakers, both the right and the left, right and left the speakers. Why this one is the bass? Yeah, it's a buffer, and it's for this. This amplifier is meant to produce the voltage for the subwoofer. Okay, so I placed order for this because I. Even though, even though with this, without this, only one speaker should work, but none worked. Well, I placed order for it, it arrived. I placed order for this one as well, because this also, uh, there was no voltage here. All right, so I placed order for this one as well. And of course, this one too, although I have this, yeah. All right, so these items arrived. I haven't replaced this one, okay. So this is one, two, Three, four. This speaker does not work. Ha! Huh. It doesn't work. So at the end of the day, I I look for the same motherboard that uh, I fixed. So I try to check. I try to check. Let me check the the continuity of each leg. Okay. At the end of the day, I discovered that it should be a three point five volt here. This 3.5 or 2.5 volt here, 3.5, it comes from here, this Bluetooth model here, to here. So the line has broke, so there's no continuity. So that's why I make this jump from here, uh, this is the backside, here. Underneath of this place is, uh, this is, okay, it's around, it's around there, it, make, it, it made a connection here. So from here, okay, return. From here, it's make a connection here. Yeah, the first resistor here. I think the resistor is 4.5K or thereabouts. Yeah, so below it, it should make a connection from here to here. So here to here, make continuity. It's make, it's make connection. But from here to here, nothing. All right, from here to here, nothing as well. Okay, so the problem is this point here. It's, it's separated the line. It's, it caused a break in circuits. So I made this connection on how to do that. And another thing is, it's a power here. There's only the key resistor here that um, this, this VCC, this right here is VCC. The same thing has been, it's been 14, 15, 16. Yeah, 15, 16 and 27, 28, 14, that is 28, should be the VCC pin. The same thing here. So it should be at this side, but there's also a break in it. All right, so that's why I make this, this, this a jump from here. So for my VCC line comes to here. Okay. All right. So now how many, and also there are missing grounds here that the grounds I've caught. You see, I've tried to, I've applied a, an insulator on it. Okay. So that's why it's bulgy. So that the, what I soldered on it will not get removed. So that hold it down. So it's similar to this whitish. Uh, this insulator here, all right? So there are one, two, three, four. 
about five grams here missing yeah it's it they are missing so i created another ground so i made a jump in order to create ground so after everything okay initially i didn't replace this so after everything after i did this there was in, there was no sound still then lastly i replaced this boom and it came back to life and the defense will be extremely happy and sadly this person uh bought similar speaker he saw it online i think it was on facebook he bought it, but uh, the person was uh, the person. This person was a scammer. Yeah, so the person scammed him. He collected the money, collected transport money, but he didn't send the speaker. So sad. And he spent how much? Maybe thirty thousand on thereabouts. Nothing. Maybe thirty thirty five thousand. I cannot remember. So this person will be extremely happy. Yeah, <laughs> extremely happy that this thing is back to life. This thing since February. Yeah. The one thing is I don't give up easily on stuff, although he doesn't want it. How much is this? But this person sent it from a far distance. I mean live and this person sent it from Akure. Okay, Akure, you pass through on door before you get to Ilefe. Now it depends where you know where you take. And if you take um Ilesha Akure Express, so that means you get to Ilesha before you get to Ife. So it's far. So I made a promise that. To myself actually that mm -hmm. i must say sure that this thing worked because he just wanted to send it down and for him to collect the same speaker it is spend money as well so spending money for two and four or a stuff that does not work so that's going to be a loss for him now also you know um first for him when he paid for this speaker and this person scammed him or at least their thoughts are not wasted so i'm needed to that replace oh i also replace this this thing right here the capacitor so I replaced this capacitor, I replaced this capacitor as well. And uh, yeah, these two capacitors. I replaced them. Okay, I retained this. I, I am tempted to remove this as well because if capacitor is as problem, it can also affect sound production. Yeah, it can also affect it. Because capacitor spoons out the voltage, it cleans um signals. So if capacitor has problem, so it will not be able to do that job. Hence, it's going to affect sound production so i replaced this i replaced it although why i replaced them was that it's it's looked bulgy yeah it looked bulgy okay so i replaced one two three two capacitors then four this digital to analog um converter so i replaced one two capacitors that is two this shape three this um amplifier that is four right for this shape that is five and this right here six that is six and there are resistors here missing yeah because the person that i gave it to that's why it's important to give your stuff to someone that knows about it not someone that will be doing trial by error so i really suffered on this motherboard if I'm going to charge this person, I'm going to collect money. It's going to be more than the cost of this speaker. Since February, I told you, since February. So there are missing resistors, about two, three resistors missed here yeah, that I have to replace. This, yeah, this another one here. Yeah. yeah, this another one here. Yeah. Missing as well. All right. So a lot of things. But I'm happy. This is, I was, um, I'm able to fix, fix this. And it's backup working. All right. It's backup working. So I've replaced so many things here. So many things here. All right. So that is it. So if you are faced with search, I believe you know what to do. Yeah. One thing is, don't try by error, please. No. Don't try. Just understand what you're about to do. Okay. If you plug in, if, um, this device is plugged into the USB port. This five volts, um, this five volts converter will be 40 that one is definitely that is very sure and it might affect this one as well that is digital to analog converter okay and this i don't know what they did but this one got burnt we shouldn't it got burnt right this amplifier also has problem okay and there are missing resistors i also replace the capacitors so a lot of things replace it and also the jump that i have to create you know try to create uh, revive the deadline lines that I've caught, I revived them. And voila, it's back up working.